first and foremost, we've got to choose the material to perform the right function. So from that, we then start looking at the things like availability. We can start looking at cost. We look at the aesthetics of the material. We look at how it might be able to be manufactured both in the short term and in the long term uh, for small scale prototyping right through to high value, uh, high volume production. That all has to be considered at the start. Function and then aesthetics and then cost all need to be considered. Generally, uh, experience allows us to have input into what is needed in any one function. If it's a, uh, a tensile strength requirement, if it's a comfort and fit requirement, if it's a sealing requirement, if it's a compression requirement, if it's uh, some other function, we've designed around that function before and that allows us to go the right way in picking the material. Material choice isn't necessarily a straightforward thing. Sometimes the established materials are not the best materials for a particular part or function. For example, we had an application where a very established material was used in a critical sealing uh, component of a large assembly. So it's a very small seal in a very large assembly that was put together and um, the sealing edge had to be critically maintained otherwise there was failure on assembly. So our customer would put together this assembly do a 100% testing on their part and find that they were getting nearly 25% failure on that assembly. They would then have to strip it down to its component pieces, take out the little rubber part, put in a new one, build it up again and test it again until they got a part that worked. Now the material used in that part was the established material for that application. However, because the function was sealing rather than some of the other properties of that particular material, we decided to redesign it and use a different material. One that probably wasn't quite as good in some of the non-critical aspects, but was critical in the sealing performance. When we changed to that material, we trialled it, we did our work with the customer. That material went from 25% reject rate down to 4% reject rate on assembly. That means that every time they didn't have to strip one down to rebuild it again, they were able to build a fresh one in its place. It saved them an enormous amount of money.